Hey guys, right now you're listening to the sounds of the Zingyu ZY007, a $30 microphone from Amazon. Yes, a $30 microphone. Now you're probably wondering, Stefan, what are you doing with a $30 microphone? You've guys seen me with the Shure SM7B, you've seen me with the Neumann TLM-02, so I probably have no business using a Zingyu ZY $30 microphone, right? But the truth is, I was curious. I really found it interesting that there was a condenser microphone that cost $20 to $30, and I thought it would help people that are on a budget. Now, for $35, you get a whole lot for what you pay for. You get a box, and in that box, you get the mic, an XLR cable, the windscreen, a pop filter, and even a boom stand with a shock mount. That's a lot for $35. So even if you don't use this microphone, you can use the other items, even if you decided that you didn't want to use this and you could probably use the pop filter or the shotgun for any of the other mics that you have in your arsenal. So let's get to what this sounds like. Okay, so now you're listening to the Zingyu Z7 with no music, just raw, you know, vocal voiceover uh, demo. I'm going to do, I'm going to read a quick line from the book, The Alchemist, and, you know, just as a voiceover test, and you tell me what you think. The boy picked up a book that someone in the caravan had bought. Leafing through the pages, he found the story of Narcissus. The Alchemist knew the story of Narcissus, a youth who knelt daily to contemplate his own beauty. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time processed, with some compression or EQ, you know, just to see, you know, just to see what the mic can do. The boy picked up a book that someone in the caravan had bought. Leafing through the pages, he found the story of Narcissus. The alchemist knew the story of Narcissus, a youth who knelt daily to contemplate his own beauty. Okay, so now I'm going to sing for you guys real quick. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I've heard of once in a lullaby. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue. And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Sorry guys, it's morning. I still have like that grovel, groggly sound in my voice. Um, but yeah, so that's the sound of the Zing UZY007. Now, two things that I want to make very, very clear. Um, one is if you're going to use this microphone, do not. And I repeat, do not use the USB um, XLR to three millimeter jack. You're going to get hiss. You're going to get a lot of noise. It's going to sound terrible. On Amazon, you're going to get a lot. You're going to see a lot of reviews where people are saying that, OK, this mic is terrible. It doesn't work. It just makes a loud hissing noise. And that's because they're not using it with an audio interface. This may be a cheap microphone, but at the end of the day, it still is a cheap condenser microphones and condenser microphones need 48 volts of phantom power. And the only thing that can provide that is a proper preamp or audio interface. So if you're going to use this, I don't care if it's a cheap $40, $60 Behringer or $30 interface, use an interface with this. Do not use the USB to uh, three millimeter jack. It's going to sound bad. You know, I know what it was like being a beginner. I remember when I used to use a USB microphone. I've gone from the USB microphone to um, using a SM58 with an audio interface and XLR cable, and then from there using a condenser mic, and then using a, a Focusrite ISO 1 preamp with the Shure SM7B, and then using a TLM 103 and TLM 102. And now, you know, I'm going back to the very beginning. And when you're more advanced and you experience things, now I know when I see a microphone like this, I have to use a preamp with it to get the best performance out of it. But if I was a beginner, like in the past, I probably would have used that USB three millimeter jack dongle thingy and it would sound terrible. And I'd be like, okay, well, this mic sounds bad. I'm going to return it. So that's that. Another thing, this microphone, as you notice, sounds very teeny tiny. You know, it's a small diaphragm. It's a cheap microphone. Most cheap microphones have a bright high end that I... I'm not very fond of and I usually say that when it comes to like MXL and cheaper microphones like that 
But, you know, this microphone is $30. You know, there are people who have recorded albums on their iPhone with the little mic, voice memo mic thing. And I think you can do a lot with this with EQ and compression. You know, it's it's thirty dollars. Like, who cares? You know, I could even say that it's probably fifteen or twenty dollars with all the stuff that you get. You know, it's a great value. So, you know, tell me what you think. Um, once again, my name is Stephen St. Felix. And if you like these videos, you know, leave a like, you know, let me know how I'm doing. And if you want to subscribe, I hate asking people to subscribe, but, you know, like I'm selling you something. But Thanks anyway. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you guys and see you in the next one.